Hello guys. This is D Tech. Today, we are going to download and install the latest version of Forda Client which is version 7, I will also show you how to configure Forda Client and how to backup and restore the configuration. SSL VPN will allow remote users to connect to the FortiGate device to access the internal network using Forda Client for Android, iOS, Windows, and even some Linux operating system. Internet traffic can also flow to the FortiGate for security scanning. If you are new to my channel, please like, share, click on the bell button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Before we proceed, I will uninstall first my current 4D client which is version 6.4.0. But first, we have to back up the current configuration. I have some several sites configured and for me not to enter all the credentials again, I will simply back up the configuration. This is very useful especially if you have bunch of remote sites currently configured. We can test to connect first to one of the remote sites which is the data center. I want to show you it's working for us to test again after we install the version 7. You can see it's working. Now, we will back up the current configuration. To do this, click on the settings or gear icon. You can see the option restore is grayed out because we need first to unlock the advanced features. Click on the padlock icon to unlock. Notice that the padlock icon disappeared and the restore option is now available. Since we want to back up the configuration then choose backup. Locate where you want to save the file. In my case, I want to save it on my desktop. Enter your preferred file name, let's give a name of 4D config then click on save. Now you need to add password for the backup file. Enter your desired password then click OK to proceed. Backup file created successfully. You can see the file created on desktop. Let's now uninstall the application. Open your control panel. Choose uninstall a program. Click on Forda Client VPN then uninstall. Click OK to proceed. Now, you must restart your computer to complete the uninstallation process. Click on Yes and your computer will automatically restart. After restart, the uninstallation has been completed, you can't see the Forda client anymore. And again, here is our backup file. Let's now download the latest Forda client available. Open your web browser. Go to support.fordinet.com and log into your account. If you have devices linked to your account then you can download it here. But if you don't have an account then you can download it from the link on the description below, or you can comment your email and I will be happy to share it with you. Now, click on support. Firmware download. Under select product, choose for the client. Click download. In this window, you will choose which operating system you want to install the application. We have the option for Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, and Windows. Since I'm using Windows as my operating system then I will choose Windows. Next is you will select the version categories, since we are going to install the latest version then we will select the last one which is version 7. During the time of this recording, we only have one option available which is 7.0. In this window, you can download and read the version release notes. Now, you will select the operating system version in which you want to install the application. You have the versions available for 32-bit and 64-bit. Make sure to download the correct file. 
Take note, you can install 32-bit version on 64-bit but you cannot install 64-bit on 32-bit version. To check your operating system version, go to your desktop, right-click on my computer, Properties. You can see the operating system type is 64-bit. Now, go back to your web browser and choose the x64.exe for 64-bit. Click on HTTPS to download the file. Locate where you want to save the file then click save. While waiting for the file to be downloaded, you can check the release notes. You can also search for 4 to client 7 release notes. Here, you can see all the details regarding this version. I will just show you the product integration and support. For desktop operating system, it support Windows 10, Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. It supports both 32 and 64 bit versions. Forte Client 7.0 does not support Windows XP and Windows Vista. For server operating system, it only support Windows Server 2008 R2 and above. Forte Client 7.0 does not support Windows Server Core. Lastly, the minimum system requirements Microsoft Windows compatible with Intel processors or equivalent. Forte Client on Windows does not support ARM based processors. 512 MB of RAM and 600 MB free hard disk space, etc. You can also check the resolved issues and also the known issues. Now, let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. You must check the box to agree to the license agreement the click next. We will leave the directory as default so click next to proceed. Click install. Now, wait for it to install the application. I will fast forward the video. Notice the shortcut application created on desktop. Completed the Forte Client VPN setup wizard. Click finish. You will have a shortcut automatically created on desktop and on the taskbar. Point on it and it will show the current version. Double click on it to run the application. Click configure VPN to proceed. This is a fresh install so no configuration is present. You can configure SSL VPN or IPsec VPN. This demo is for SSL VPN so we will select SSL VPN. If you want the IPsec configuration then you can check my other video or you can check it from the link description below. We will restore the backup file which we created earlier but first, we have to try configuring new remote site. Enter your preferred connection name. Description is optional, for the remote gateway, you can enter your dynamic DNS or the public IP address of the remote site. If you haven't customized the port then you can leave it but if you did, check the box then input the port number configured. You can choose save login for you not to enter your username every time you want to access the remote site. Now, enter your username and click save. Enter your password then click connect to connect to your remote site. Click yes to proceed. In this window, you can see the current connection details. The VPN name, the IP address received, this is your SSL VPN IP address configured on the remote site. The username, time duration, the bytes received and bytes sent. To disconnect, simply click on disconnect. To check the version, 
click on the eye icon and you can see the version which is 7.0. Let's now proceed with the restore process. Click on the settings or gear icon. Again, you can see the restore option is grayed out. We need to unlock the advanced features. Click on the padlock icon to unlock. Now, you can see the padlock icon disappeared and the restore option is now available. Click on it. Locate the backup file which we saved on desktop with the name 4D config. Click on it then click open. Now, enter your backup password then click OK. Configuration restored successfully. Click OK. Now go to home. We can tell that the restoration has been successful, we can see the remote sites before the backup process. The remote site named my company which we configured earlier had been overwritten. To add a new connection, click on the three line icon then select add a new connection. You can enter the new connection details like we did earlier. To delete a remote connection, choose the remote site you want to delete, let's choose branch Adela Amin. Now, click on the three line icon then choose delete this selected connection. You will be asked if you really want to delete this connection. Click yes to proceed. You can now see that the branch Adela Amin has been deleted. Let's test to connect to one of the remote site again which is the data center. Enter your password the click connect. You can see that we are now connected. If you notice the for the client icon has a padlock sign, it means you are currently connected. Let's disconnect and you will see that the padlock icon will disappear. You can see it's now disconnected. Well. That's all for today's demonstration. If you need the file, please comment your email below and I will be happy to share it with you. I hope you liked and learned something from this video. Please like, share, leave your comment and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video.